Welcome to Forza Friday. It was the best of cars and it was the better of cars. All right, sorry about that literary <laughs> intro. With me as always is John Finney. And John, today we have two Panteras. Well, these are great cars because uh, the way I look at it, it's got Italian design and it's got a Ford, uh, kind of a Ford uh, engine and a uh, ZF gearbox, if I'm not mistaken. And so these things are, uh, are really bulletproof. I love them. And the nice thing about it is, as you can see here, you can go totally stock or you can customize to your heart's content. And over the next two weeks, we're gonna profile both of these cars. The one behind us, well, that's the stock one. And the one back there, that's not so stock as we'll find out. It's a 72. Okay, and what's in the back there? I see nitrous and I see... Um, well, the, the 351 Cleveland was gone from the car when I got it. It was a retired race car. Yep. So um, I took that out and put in a, a stroked Windsor, a 408 cubic inch Windsor with a little bit of nitrous on it. So it's a little healthier than it was stock. <laughs> How much does it put out? How much horsepower do you think? Uh, 586.7 on the dyno without the bottles. Without the bottles. And mm -hmm. then when you click those on? It's 125 shots. It should be <laughs> roughly around 700. Wow. And what do you use 700 horsepower for? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Spinning tires maybe. John, you're with Auto Mezzi. What is Auto Mezzi? Yeah, Auto Mezzi is a car show that we do here in Colorado. It's been going on for uh, 24 years coming up next year. And we focus on Italian cars and uh, bring out upwards of 200 cars uh, at each show and we donate the proceeds to the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. So coming up next, we've got two Panteras. Right, and what year is this Pantera that belongs to you that we're sitting in? 1972. And um, this is a much more stock Pantera. Very stock. I mean, I, it's really you're really hard pressed to find one absolutely stock. They're they're out there, but they're they're very rare. I mean, uh, to modify these cars is very uh, common. So there's a couple of things that aren't stock, but uh, for the most part, the the lines are all the same as they were. In the interior of the engine is basically the same thing as it was when it was new. <laughs> some gas. So are those wheels the same as the bicycle wheels, the Sam Campy yeah, wheels? Company, I really? So from Italy, yeah. Campy Manol. Yeah. Uh, basically, I found this one. Uh, some friends of mine found it um, in a barn outside of Vegas. It was a retired race car. Okay. So it was already a race car, and to take it back to stock really would have been quite quite a bit more work than I did on it as it is. Um, I still did a ground-up restoration on it, but uh, the body had wide flares on it already. They were fiberglass, uh, looking just like the factory Group 4 race cars did. So um, in doing the restoration of the car, I took that off and went with steel to match the rest of the body on the flares and uh, brought it back to the them, factory know? group four race car look with uh you know at that point no harm no foul i just went for the the engine went for broke basically yeah it's <laughs> a it's a it's a powerful engine so tell me about the history of the of the pantera i mean it was kind of a hybrid right of italian design and american muscle correct yes it was actually um it was an, an italian built car it was designed by an american 
uh, Tom Charda, who was living actually in Italy at the time, and uh, actually still is, and he designed the vehicle, uh, Ford powered it with a 351 Cleveland engine, um, and a, a German Transit, CF-2, DS-25-2. And so it was kind of this weird mixture of, uh, you know, European sports car and American muscle car and it hasn't gotten a lot of it got a lot of respect initially and then the prices went down and they're starting to come up back up again right you know initially there was a lot of talk about um, you know some poor build quality some heating issues things like that with them um, you know all of the issues that Pantera's had have been sorted out by you know very active clubs and you know a, a, a really good Pantera community you know and a, and a great following um, you know any of these issues have been re-engineered a long time ago so it's easy to have just a dead reliable you know exotic car for a fraction of the cost you know to maintain it so it's it's really a good deal nowadays you can move your your trunk and then you get to see the transmission it's pretty easy to work and I would see how people race these that's really cool a lot of times uh, you don't put something over the universal joints yeah when they spin they'll shoot you know grease everywhere so you got a lot of guys have covers mark i think has covers over his otherwise uh <laughs> it's a little too otherwise they shoot raw grease goes everywhere yeah where are the radiators are they in the front the radiators in the front yes there's a uh, uh under the front hood there's you can pop the hood too so with the radiators in the front and the engine in the back i mean you got a lot of hot water coursing yeah. <laughs> back and forth yeah, it's not not the most efficient uh, cooling system. They do, they do run hot, but uh, but I can see how simple this is. I mean, it's pretty basic, right? Radiators, booster. the brake booster, the battery front. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and lights that pop out in the very '70s fashion. Yeah, we can open those up too if you want. Yeah, pop them. Oh, that is way cool. Yeah. I like your little sign here. Get in, sit down, shut up, and hang on. Yeah, well, that's uh, you got to understand my dad's sense of humor, but that's part of his his thing with the stopwatch. And on the on the back, it's got the the BFD sticker. So he's you know he you know he's, he he has those things, and then he's got he he really wanted the sticker on the air air cleaner yep. cover. He wanted he wanted it says 351 Cleveland, which is the original engine, and that never had a sticker on it so he wanted to have the original sticker in the original place so he's really particular about some things but obviously when you put a sticker on your car on the outside like that Moltel sticker on the windshield or this little thing here it you know this he just has fun with 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 it you know so tell me about this car what's the original engine how much horsepower is it putting out original engine is a 351 Cleveland with the ZF axle as John mentioned and, yep. and uh uh, I, I think originally they're about 350 horsepower, uh, give or take, and and that's just right right out of the uh, the dealership. So. Sport mode, turn out traction control. And let's away see, we let's go. see here. we hit the accelerator. There it is. It's on. Just let go. There it goes. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of wheel spin. That was nice. And there's 60. Oh, it was it's, faster. It was faster. It was faster. I was right.